Hi everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, this is on my Xbox Series S and in this video I want to show you how you can enable multiplayer on Flight Simulator. So if you're going to something like the official Microsoft Flight Simulator fly-ins where you all want to be flying together, this is how you do it. Now the first thing you want to probably do actually is, uh, is just go into the settings first. So go into the options and go into general options and then go into traffic and just enable traffic nameplates then what you'll want to do is depending on the um, the meetup you're going to the flying fly flying fly you're going to be going to do they might well give you um, the uh, server that you need to be on because if you're on the wrong server you won't be able to see people anyway so you can just pick which server so we're on North Europe and then you go into the world map to put in your flight plan or select where you're going to start but the really important thing is here up in the top right hand corner flight conditions it's not very obvious but you click on that then over on the left it's this box here you may well find you're on off at the moment which means that when you <laughs> when you spawn in with your airplane you won't be able to see anybody around the ones you really want are live players or um, all players so this way you'll see everybody so if you do go to a fly-in or a meet-up with, with a group of other other flyers in flight simulator and remember this is cross-play between PC and Xbox as well you'll see them all there and you can all fly together and uh, highly recommend doing one of the official Microsoft flight simulator fly-ins great fun they do some great organizing so make sure that's on all players you can set your air traffic to live or AI or off um, you can have custom weather and time um, because the really interesting thing is as long as you're on the same server and you're in the same place all the aircraft in that group of aircraft can all be seeing different things so you'd be saying seeing the same mountains and the same lakes as you're flying along but for somebody so they could have it set for you know m the middle of the night somebody else could have it set for um, daytime someone could have it set for cloudy someone could have it set for clear so you're flying along together but you might be seeing different things which is really cool because as you get more advanced you might think actually I don't want to fly along on in, in beautiful weather I want it to be quite challenging whereas a beginner you just want nice clear sky so you don't get blown or around all over the place and so there we go so once you've done that then you can find out where it all starts you know click on wherever you're going to go set as departure or you can put in the flight plan hit fly one final thing that is interesting as well is when you're in uh, with, with a group of people um, especially PC players what happens is if they if they're playing uh, in aircraft that aren't in the uh, console version of flight simulator or you don't have the DLC they'll substitute a different aeroplane so if they're in something like an F-22 a jetliner will appear so that's something that's something quite fun to look out for but there we go, that is how you activate multiplayer in Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox consoles. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.